Hello and welcome to Nature Day's Outdoor Learning Resources, sponsored by the Gauss Society. Now my challenge for you today is to find some catkins. Now these are flowers of the trees and these trees that have got flowers out at the moment are trying to beat the rush after the leaves come out and these ones are wind pollinated which means that if the leaves were in the way then the wind would just blow them onto the leaves. So we've got our hazel here these are some male catkins. So these are the flowers which have got the stamens on, which has got the pollen. Now these ones aren't ripe yet. I'm gonna try and find some which are a bit riper. Now here's some catkins which are a bit riper. Now let's see if they are ripe. So if I tap them, then we should see a cloud of pollen if they're ripe. Any pollen coming out? I'm gonna try these ones. Oh, they're starting to disintegrate. So these are probably ripe now, which means that this tree has probably also got the female flowers. Now those are absolutely tiny and they're found on top of these little buds and they're usually bright pink. So I'm gonna have a look, see if I can find you some of those as well. So here we have the male part of the flower, the male flower, the star catkin. And this, just to get a sense of scale, is the female, this tiny little pink flower. So the pollen is going to come off here, be wind driven. So the wind is going to blow the pollen off the stamen here and it's going to fly and it's going to land on top of that tiny little flower there, that tiny little pink flower. Now, if these leaves that were coming out of the buds were here, then there would be no chance that this would actually catch them. So that's why these pollen, these flowers come out so early. Now there are some others that come out so early. These ones here, these are older flowers. They're not out as early as the hazel are, but if you have a look, you might be able to find some older flowers. You also might be able to find some birch flowers. So look for some silver birch, also for some dowdy birch, and they're really obvious because the trunks are white with peeling bark, and they might have some of their catkins out as well. So that's what I want you to do. Try and have a catkin hunt, and if you're really lucky, you can find those tiny little female flowers as well. If you do manage to find some, then please do tweet any photos. If you've got a good lens or a good photo, you can show it on Twitter, hashtag NatureDays, or put it on the Facebook page. Now, if you want to find out some more about winter identification of the trees, then this Saturday, I'm premiering a, a video for Gower Society Youth on going for a winter woodland walk. So it explains how to identify a few different species in the winter time and also some activities to do if you go for a walk in a winter woodland. So please do tune in to our premiere on Saturday for the Gower Society Youth Winter Woodland Walk. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next outdoor challenge.